Good day everyone. Today we are going to take a look at the greater and very unique exhibition of one of the world's most famous veteran car painter, Mr. Václav Zapadli from Czech Republic. And this exhibition was in Prague at the Mames Exhibition Hall Center in April 2016. Unfortunately, this exclusive exhibition of paintings of historical vintage cars which was complemented by real historic cars it was exhibited here for only a month and this exhibition were called Petrol Intoxication. First of all, let's briefly say something about Mr. Václav Zapadli, a painter, illustrator who specialized in drawing and painting historic cars, especially from period up to the 1950s, last century, and about whom this exhibition actually is. Well, better say this exhibition is about his paintings and work which excel in the accurate depiction of all technical details and his portraits of all cars are not only technically perfect, they also have their own poetry, which Mr. Ba- Zapadlik achieved, among other things, by capturing the reflections of light on the chrome bodies of the cars. In his field, he has no competition in the world, but due to his uh, focus on automobile industry, he is better known among fans of vintage cars than in artistic circle. His work is presented in permanent exhibition in several foreign museums, especially in the US, which are dedicated to his works. He also worked with the Black Hall, California. Mr. Zapadlik had been an automotive artist, pouring with a deep appreciation for the history of the automobile such an artist. With his works, attention to brilliant technical details, who painted and illustrated veterans in an original style that faithfully resembled reality. In the 1970s, he began publishing his illustrations in the magazine Automobile and Svěd Motoru, in English, Engine World. Mr. Zapadlik became more known worldwide only at a relatively late age, which may have been due to the steady system at the time. In his work, he focused primarily on vintage and veteran cars, and also on period historical car racing. He has used many techniques in his artistic work, for example, line drawing, watercolor oil, painting or ink painting. As soon his work began to be referred to as photorealistic works.
I trust you like this exhibition so far. And it is a shame that this exhibition was limited time only a month here in April 2016. Sadly, this exhibition deserves a permanent exhibition in Technical Museum somewhere. This short-lived exhibition was in Prague where, and the entrance was very cheap and cost almost nothing, only 100 Czech krona, which is about 5 dollars. And they should ask at least a double entry. In any case, a wonderful exhibition where it was possible to buy various posters or smaller postcards of these painted vintage cars and also was valuable other souvenirs connected precisely with the stem of the vintage and veteran cars. As this exhibition most likely would never repeat, I decided to share with others to see what Tasha release when you are in love with the automobile world. Otherwise, postage stamps were also published in a booklet edition under the name World Cards and other photos and pictures were published in another booklet called Czeske Auto in English Czech Cards and also in booklet Skoda. Also in 2015 was published his book with the title Pictures, which contains more than 100 full color pages and which presents Mr. Zapadlik's work dedicated to the veteran races of the last century. And now we are going to move forward to the second part of this exhibition, which are the real cars here. As for the convertible car Vico 70 501 manufactured 1930, and it is four-seated convertible car. At the beginning of the Second War, it was saved from being scrapped by converting into a company fire truck, and later rebuilt according to Václav Zapadlik body design. It was rebuilt to its current excellent condition by the renovation company K&D Stauk in comparison with another renovation company Hikar. The second one is also Vico Naba 7 285 manufacture 1930. It is two-seater bodywork car of the former breeder and factory driver of Vico Jiří Kremu. In the early 1930s, he completed several races with this car, including the Masaryk race in Brno. And in 1934, he took part in the legendary race of 1000 miles of Czechoslovakia. We are looking at Walter Jr. 1935 in line engine SV cylinder engine capacity 995cc, which is a steering local convertible car, was owned by Václav Zapadlik, and he took part in vintage race and release with this car. This is French car, SEMA Standard 5 CV Sport 1929, engine row. 4 cylinder SV volume engine capacity 860cc bodywork with 2 plus 1 seat sport. These cars were suitable for longer journeys with the need only 6 liters per 100 km and due to its easy handling and elegance it was also suitable for ladies and misses. 
The last one is Bugatti 13, manufactured 1911, with OHC straight cylinder engine, with engine capacity of 1.327 cc, one door, two seater roadster body. The Bugatti 13 was the first car of the Bugatti brand and was produced between 1910 and 1920. The car on display is the second oldest surviving car of this type in the world. And this is the end of this tour. Trust you like it. Any comments, ideas, leave below. And see you in another video.